Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria, and I want to talk to you about the special that we're having this month. It's NutraClear. Now you can say, Dr. Bob, why would I want to use NutraClear? Well, we use it several times during the year, and if you've been in the office any length of time, usually around December and January, we have our detox program where we use a detoxification program that includes NutraClear. Now you're going to say, well, Dr. Bob, what exactly does that mean? Am I going to have like loose stools? Am I going to have digestive distress when you're talking about detoxification? So let me kind of talk to you about what the NutraClear system does. So let's just say, for example, and I had this happen just the other day, someone was taking a lot of antibiotics. He had a procedure done and he was getting an infection. So we did the fit test to him food sensitivity testing. And you can see these red boxes right here. He was having a major gut barrier issue and he was explaining to me how his lower abdomen always feels gassy. So because of this test, and if you've not done the food sensitivity test, i.e. FIT, there's 132 or 176 foods that we can test, but it's the gut that we are looking for. If you've been on any antibiotics at any time in your life, unless you had purposeful intent to recolonate your gut or your lower intestine, you're gonna have challenges. Where NutraClear comes into is it helps replenish the nutritional deficiencies you may have had or currently have because your intestine does not have the ability to utilize what you're eating. Most of you right now, and I have to watch how I say this, have probably not the most honorable diet. You'll say to me, I eat clean. I haven't figured out what eat clean means yet, but if you read any kind of magazine, they'll suggest certain foods that are healthy for you, but they can cause gut inflammation. And some of the more common ones happen to be wheat, dairy, and eggs. I'm not saying that they're bad foods, but once you get this inflammatory process started, it's hard to reverse. What oftentimes we'll see is someone will come in and say, I have a sinus infection. I went to my primary and he gave me an antibiotic and it helped. We have found most sinus issues are really a food sensitivity issue. And I'm bringing this up because we could have children that are on antibiotics throws their gut off, and then they start getting a chronic cough or eczema, they're candidates for NutraClear. You can say, well, what does NutraClear really do? It helps give your body the nutrition that it needs because your body's not working as good as it could be. You can say, do I have to take this forever? No, but our purpose here is to educate you to make wise choices. So if you get adjusted, watch how much sugar you're consuming, your body's healthy, that means your gut is healthy. So if you feel bloated, if you pass gas, especially foul smelling gas, that means your colon is like a compost pile. So let me give you a couple thoughts here. You have putrefaction. Putrefaction is when proteins are not breaking down properly. If you have rancidity, that means that fats are not breaking down properly, you're gonna have foul smelling stools. If your stool is foul, that means it's, there's a lot of odor there. That means that's happening inside of you. It's called auto intoxication. Your body's actually absorbing nutrients that are not healthy. Let me tell you this. I've been practicing since 1978. In the 1970s, they stopped promoting butter and they started promoting margarine. That's one of the reasons that I wrote a book on ADHD. Well, what I have learned over time, a chronic colon problem that includes cancer could be due to a lack of what we call butyric acid. Butyric acid helps heal the gut. That means butter is good. Remember, they used to have, you can't fool mother nature. Well, butter is good. You can say, well, Dr. Bob, I have had patients have part of their intestine removed 12 inches. 
because that's just what they do. I had a young man that was eating at a local franchise restaurant and he was having chronic digestive distress. We did the fit test, found out he was having some issues. I strongly encourage him not to go to this fast food type of restaurant, franchise restaurant anymore. And between the NutriClear and detoxing his body, this 25 year old still has his intestine. So if you have chronic distress, talk to myself, Dr. Anthony, Dr. Kaysen, you may consider thinking at least filling out a wellness evaluation. It's not hard to do. And we look at your numbers, we score. You may consider doing the fit test, but most of all, if you're having chronic digestive distress, consider NutriClear. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.